Good God. He must have been sleepwalking. Look at the state you're in. Exactly. If my poor child come to the fire, you must be frozen. I've only been out of the house half an hour. You should have been sleeping soundly, if only I'd known. Where's Elizabeth? Oh, upstairs, I think. Be sure I can't get you something, a hot drink, brandy. No, thank you. Are you all right now? I'll go and fetch your mother. I won't be long. You'll be all right here, won't you? Yes. You sure? You're absolutely sure. Well then, what happened? I was running. I must have run through the woods. I don't know why. I'm sorry, I I'm not very clear at the moment. I'm not surprised. You've had a rather powerful drug inside you. It induces a very deep sleep indeed. Two small tablets. Did you give them to me? Yes. I remember that. I think it's beginning to come back. You see, I've had an extraordinary dream. It was about you and this house. Tell me about it. <laughs> no, it's too silly to repeat. What happened to my father? He's going to fetch your mother. I'm afraid he'll want you all to leave. He's very upset. I think I'd like to leave. I'm sorry. That must sound terrible. It's just that I was convinced I'd never go home again. And now you'd like to go and make sure that it's still there? Yes. Actually, I, I think it's my boyfriend I miss most. I'd like to reassure myself that he's still there. I understand. Why don't you telephone him and let him know you're coming back? May I? Of course. Use the phone over there, behind the curtain. Here? Yes. <gasps> Vicious, isn't it? Right through the eye and into the brain. Good heaven. You must have a streak of Camilla in you. Thank you.